Hello, it's Jane, Davenport, and I am, I wanted to do a overview or a, like a, a deep dive into my new incredible inks and I don't think I'm going to fit it all in one video because I just started getting it all organized and there's so much to share. So I'm going to do a little overview in this one and then... Well, we'll just wait and see what happens because it's a live video, so I don't even know what's going to happen. But what I can tell you is that, oh, hello, I like when people are saying hello. Uh, what I can tell you is, uh, see, I'm in uh, Byron Bay, Australia, summer here, and I don't know if you can hear the cicadas outside. They are singing quite a song. Anyway, that's what, if you can hear an odd sound in the background, that's what that is. Anyway, I'm going to swing the camera around and we're going to have a look at the inks. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. So, I'll just pop my camera here. Sorry if that shakes around a little. It's just the way it is. I'm just going to move this camera this way a little. There we go. So, what I've got here is, and I've just put this up on my blog this morning. Um, I just put up all of the little labels that I created uh, so that you can put them on your different uh, ink accessories or your accessories. So they come like this. Oh, I should have one in packets. Anyway, they, usually, they come in sets of two, all the ink accessories. So there's the Dauber bottles, which have the little spongy tip. The fine tip bottles that you can draw from and these also have a double tip so this is called a unicorn bottle so you just take the little fine tip off and you've got a squirty one <laughs> and then that just just remember to lock that back on twist that back on so it's all good and what else have I got here oh and the mister of course a little uh, fine mister bottle and the ink brush. So this is the same type of brush as I have for the mermaid markers. And what I'm doing here is I'd already done quite a few, but I had to refill them and do this and that. And I've, uh, I'm putting my incredible inks in all of these. I've labeled them all up so that I have a daub, a mister, a needle tip, and the brush pen all in all of the colors. And then, like I said on the blog, I've done stickers. Oh, well, they're not stickers. You download them and you can print them onto, you know, like a sticky sheet. Um, so you might have to resize them depending on what you're printing on or whatever. Um, or you could just put it on with clear packing tape. It wouldn't have to be uh, onto a sticker. I've just done this on an inkjet. Um, but I have also bought the laser print one to print on my laser printer. Uh, I've just got a little laser printer. And that would be better because they would be waterproof. But these will be fine, and I just have them. Some people would think that this is craziness, labeling everything, but not me, I like it. And then all of my ink brushes are all labeled. Now, I wish I didn't have, you know, but I've been using them, so they're kind of messy, and you'll see ink everywhere. But that's, that's just par for the course. But I'm just going to pick these up and put these over into my cute little mermaid cup here. And the other thing that I've been showing. Um, on my oh no have i bought the setup one anyway this is the new ink sink which is jay it's just on my website um i've just got it there and it's a little organizer for your inks so i found this is a um a waterproof uh situation but not so that you can shake it around i mean nothing is going to survive that but you can easily carry your inks or you can easily put your inks out on your desk or where you're creating and you've got 28 wells there it's pretty cool and then this one comes with uh, labels so that she runs off to the other side of the room to get the one she prepared earlier uh, that's got the labels in it this one I have already set up and I've also put some of the foam pad stuff so I've got this on my blog 
and I did a newsletter about all of this the other day and then I've got each of the inks but then I can put other ones in here as well I like to have a water uh, and then by having a sponge in there if you are going to travel it just helps make sure nothing spills but also you can just dab your brush on it and you fill your brush up that way so it's a little bit more controllable uh, so now I have all this stuff on my desk that I have to move so I can show you things so I'm just going to quickly put these all back in here I've been playing around with whether I should have them like this all the daubers together or if I should have each color together but anyway I'm sorry I can't just throw them off and make a big mess I have to be tidy oh I need to redo the fresh air one I am gonna have to throw them because this is taking too long <laughs> I'll tidy them up later but I need my desk space back so I can show you how the inks work which is the fun thing okay now I've got enough space so let's just move those out of the way ah that's so much better and now I've got my little ink sink and the other thing that I've been playing with as well is putting the incredible inks in ink pads as well because uh, you can use them as a stamping ink uh, so I've got these are the ranger dabber sponge dabber things they probably have a name but I can't remember what that is uh, these are the color pop the color box petal point ones. see how each one is sort of separate so you can use them as little ink pads so we actually have these on our store because I quite like these and they stack quite nicely and these little tiny ones so I've put a little bit of Frida fresh orange and lemon sherbet um, so all of those inks you can get at Michaels and other stores at the moment in the US it's only at Michaels uh, but the yellow and orange the fresh orange and the lemon sherbet they are just in my store at the moment maybe other stores will have them in the future I don't know it just depends if they order them and then that's I don't have total control if I did I don't know what the difference would be but <laughs> everyone would have yellow and orangey so here I'm drawing on this piece of paper but that's not what I want I want this I want some of my journals so uh, that's one of my giant rub-ons on this uh, journal here and oh this is where I was playing around with the labels and this is um, an art journal from my collection and this is where I'm testing all of the different incredible inks this is where I was drawing the labels for the inks so that's her there and that's her oh this is kind of fun for me anyway that's the little mermaid here uh, just testing all, and then I also made sure that the mermaid markers were a, a different colors to the incredible inks because they are different types of inks but you can use them together and I didn't want them to be all doubled up so they are a little bit they all have their own thing um, but I, and I have got a nice big sheet that I did I'll do that in the next video but this is um, all so this is all the incredible ink testing all the different inks and how they work with uh, the paints and all of the other things from my collections so that is incredible ink and when I talk about it being layerable this is what I mean so that you can layer the colors that don't dissolve into each other like um, normal dye-based inks 
like the mermaid inks for instance uh, which are very reactive these ones are not as reactive that's rub-ons and all sorts of other things oh i can smell nice things and so this is the incredible inks here um, and a little bit of mermaid marker from time to time and these are all incredible uh, inks on here so i thought that we would paint one of these girls now i'm sort of working out the names for all of the different inks so my favorite name is tinsel which is my little dog my little pomeranian so she's on the on the label that's sort of me i guess a version of me yum so hopefully we'll be doing more colors you can see that there are more colors here than currently exist and uh oh a nudie lady <laughs> as the names have changed this is all incredible ink here but see how they blend together and do nice things that's the nice part about them they sort of think they're a watercolor but they're not they are their own thing i'm just lowering that camera just so we can do a little bit of painting together because that is what i feel like doing it's just easier to move this around rather than the camera okay Ah, oh, my goodness i've been rushing around so much today it's just been crazy i hope you're having a nice lead up to the end of the year so i haven't got much room to do anything in that journal so on instagram the other day i was painting i might just show you this painting this journal cover so this is one of my heart my hardbound art journals i just painted it with acrylic ink not acrylic ink my matte acrylic paint from my collection just make sure we're kind of the thing here so i can't see questions all the time but every so often if i pop up i can see them but if you put if you ask questions in the comments then i can go back later and see them so if you follow me on instagram you saw me this was a little bit of a disaster pages stuck together then it turned out fine this is my oz themed journal from one of my workshops and oh i've got all sorts of different inks this is my gold paint this is my pearl paint it's called pearl of wisdom and this is from the current prompt challenge that we have going in my mixed media group and this is mary margarita and this is the incredible ink so on top of the um do I have it just here? That's the pearly coloured acrylic paint from my collection. And it's, even though it's a metallic, it's still matte enough that you can use inks on it, which is fantastic. That's not normal. And that's what I've... Um, I just drew this um, with a paintbrush, just with ink from the little ink sink. And then use pen uh, just to add details. That's all uh, other beautiful inks, other things, other things. Oh, that is all incredible ink with my stamp sets and using the, um, oh, where did I just put them? The round ones. Oh, here. <laughs> These ones. Just putting the stamp in the middle of it and then popping it down and then some of them I sprayed with water because they do react with water when they first go down uh, they're really beautiful this is all incredible ink that might be my watercolors I think I don't know colored pencils I think my magic wands this is power pastels over here and now finally what I was looking for actual <laughs> paper so now I have to decide what I'm going to use. Uh, so I might just grab, I love painting with this little guy. This is my little watercolor brush. And I need clean water, so I'm just gonna, 
Gosh, I thought I was organised before I started filming, but I'm not. Got a bit of clean water in there. <laughs> I need more. I need more. So I've got my ink brushes here. And I've got my little, all of my colours here. So this is why I've done all of the different accessories. So you can use the different, use different things in different ways. Uh, it's just because it's creative and fun. And I'm going to, I think I feel like doing a little lady, drawing a little person. Let's make it a fairy. And I can't remember what today's prompt was, but we can turn it into whatever we want. So I'm going to, because this is this type of brush with this little slight cat's tongue in this small size, I like holding it up close, up to the edge there, Ooh, so that I can control it like I just did then. And I don't know if you can see this, I've got enough blue water, a little bit of blue in there, so hopefully you can see that... Um, I'm just doing those and I might start her off in pinks. So we've got a colour here called Fairy Floss and Watermelon and they're centred. So you do get a little bit of that colour. I'm just uh, going to get a bit more in here. Actually, I'm just going to go straight into the bottle. I could even, because I've got this water there, if I touch that to there. Ooh! I don't know why I just rinsed it in there. And then I'm going to use this brush. And the reason it's called a details brush is because yeah, I do hold it down the bottom like a pencil almost and draw with it. So I'm going to add a bit of pink into that. So... I don't get nervous before I come on and do these but I get sort of I don't know, I kind of like a bit adrenalised, so I sort of feel like I'm blathering on, which I am, I know I am. Oh, but I'll settle down in a minute. Uh, so I've just started with the legs, just keeping them straight. I know they're like higgledy piggledy and nothing's perfect and that's all good as far as I'm concerned. And I'm just going to start building that little skirt because this is going to be a fairy. I love that nice little fine tip here. Um, and if you ever feel like the ink is, you've got too much ink, I'll show you my little trick here. I just have some paper towel and I just get it into a nice little point there. And I can draw up any excess. And just help control that. And then I could actually use this as a little pen as well. So that I've got this little bit of a gradation between the pink and the red. And then if I add just water to it. So where is my paintbrush? could actually use a bigger paintbrush. I'm just going to add just some little details with this little brush. Like a little frill to that skirt. And I might come in with a little bit of uh, purple, I think. So that's very licious, but uh, I want to use violet syrup. So I'm just giving this a little squeeze just to get some ink down so that I can just drop that in and let it float out a bit. So it will look dark until I start moving it. And it's just to give some variety and um, this is why I say the inks think they're watercolour because they. this is the kind of stuff I do with watercolour. I love watercolour because I make a suggestion and say, oh, this is what I think you should do. And then the watercolour says, yeah, that's cool. But what I think we should do is this. And then the watercolour does its thing and then you can come back again and say, well, actually, that's not what I meant. Do you talk to your art supplies? I do. 
Uh, so I love this um, blob that's fading out. Uh, it's just going to keep crawling out into the wet paper. Um, so like I said, I'm using my journal here. So it's... I just want to get... I'm just going to use this guy, the little ink sink. So I've got a lighter application of the ink and I'm just going to drag this down into some, I don't know, little frills. I'm just enjoying this, uh, but I don't think I like the white there, so I don't mind the highlights, but I can come back and add highlights. Um, I think I want it to be solid. I might shape these little legs a bit. I do have my next book coming out next year, which is figure drawing. I'm looking forward to that. And that's on Amazon right now. So I think I need to... Oh, no, that's sort of lacy. It's all right. I'm just talking to myself. It's all right. <laughs> just, um, add some of this lighter violet. Okay, now I'm going to continue with the violet syrup, I think. And, oh, if I'm not careful, she's going to end up looking like the one I put on Instagram last night. But I like everything to be a bit different. So, um, how about if, actually, that was quite nice. So I'm just going to do that on purpose. I'm shaking my, squeezing my pen here and shaking it a little. Now, of course, I'm going to drag my hand through that, but I don't want them to be such dark uh, blobs. So I'm just going to do this. And then I'll just use this as a stamp and just get some little secondary ones. And... First, oh, no, I was going to use this guy. Okay, so now that I've squeezed that and made it a bit juicy, I'm just going to rub, rub that off. I'm just going to twist her little body this way so that her hips are going one way, her little waist is going another. And then that swells out into shoulders and the bust, etc. I think her hands are going to be going up in the air because it's party time. You know, it's nearly New Year's Eve. I think she's having a party. And I just read that sweetheart necklines are making a big comeback. So that's what she is going to have. But I want to twist her body a little bit. So then she's got her little yoga arms in here. But this, I love the ink brush because see how I've got that variety of the ink. So it's darker and lighter as the ink runs out and then it has to refill just is a nice effect um, as I'm going. So when I'm painting, whatever I'm doing, I'm really in trying to enjoy the process, the physical thing of actually dragging a paintbrush across the paper. Oh, I love that. And always with water brushes, ink brushes, aqua brushes, all brands, all types, just keep an eye on the nib because always, you know, it's a simple device. The ink can get, uh, can build up and you can get, you know, a blob that's about to happen and you can usually see it. Like it gets a bit thicker and you can stop it or pull your brush up before it happens. So you can just keep, that's what I do, just keep a little eye on it. Now I'm just trying to decide whether I have her head tilting this way or her head tilting that way and I th I'm gonna go for because usually I like to have if the hips are this way shoulders are that way the head is that way so I get lots of variety but that doesn't mean I have to do it like that um, I do know that that looks good so while I'm trying to decide on that I'm just dithering so I think I might go this way yeah, it's going to happen. It's happening. It's happened. 
and oh that's not I've done something strange here that's all right I've just got to decide on her hair if I do hair that's blowing this way then it's going to get caught up in her arm if I do hair this way eh, I don't for some reason that's just not resonating with me just adding see how that got thick I'm just add, letting that blob blob down in there um, I'm gonna let it go I'm gonna have she's gonna have an updo updo yes she's gonna have an updo and it's going to be elaborate because it's the party season and so let's start with this it's going to be a big updo with lots of plaits and I'm just going to squeeze this and get a blob so that I get some darkness there and my uh, I'm at the end of my journal it's on a slight lean so see how the ink is settling down on this side? That I can use to my advantage. If I didn't want that to happen, then I would just need to watch that a little and um, put something under there so that I didn't get that. But I quite like that. So uh, it's just going to make that extra variety. In fact, I might highlight that and get my paper towel and just dab out a little bit of the ink on this side so that it's lighter on this side, darker on this side. And I might even add a bit of the Berrylicious, just the darker purple. Looks super dark there at the moment, but it's real, the real color is this beautiful berry color. Um, and you can uh, like add distilled water and dilute these inks. Um, so I've just added that ink, but I want to uh, get it to uh, draw out a little. Oh, I might use, I might actually draw with this guy. So this is the needle top and I've got the Berrylicious in there and um, I might bring my camera down a bit for you. Is that better? I think so. And see, I can draw with this. Now, I haven't used it for a little while, so I'm just going to do a test on this side. Let's see this. Now, where I'm getting those little bubbles is I'm squeezing it, and I don't need to squeeze it. So I'm just going to uh, paper towel that. Oh, I love that effect. Like getting it lighter like that. Oh, so it's coming and going. <laughs> I'm just going to let that dry so it's so this will sort of like be a background and this is um, I've added the Berrylicious to here just a couple just like one squeeze and then distilled water I have to use distilled water because I'm in the country and on tank water and you know the water, things can go smelly so I tend to I think she needs like a ribbon like this is and each different tool the reason I did all the tools is because they um, your hand wants to use each thing differently so you get different types of marks and you draw a little differently so this one I draw um, it's even looser and freer than other tools that I use so that's why I like this. So this will be good for the hair as well. So it's sort of scratchier um, feeling. I want to do red in there now. So I've got some of this red down here in the Frida. I'm just going to add a little bit of that red up here because I feel like it. And while I've got this, I think I might even add, um, so I might give her some little red lips already. Now I'm going to put my hand straight in that, so I'm going to dab that a little. And just give her some cute little 
lips. And I might give her some shading. So rather than use this just straight like this, I'm going to take my brush again. And I'm going to, so it's just, it's damp. And I'm going to take some of the violet syrup off there. And see how it's nice and light? I can um, just get a really light little application. I could have actually pulled it up from there. Uh, just for the shadowing of where her eyes are going to be. And I can let that ink run in. I can even pull some of this stuff down, just if I want it a bit darker. And then I will draw her eyes with a pen uh, over that later and get a bit more of a shaded effect. Oh, I think I just gave her a hairy armpit. I just wanted to give her shading, so I just, I'll lighten that up a little. And I think I might, rather than have her all these pink colours and then going into pink hair, I think I might um, neutralise this a little. So the opposite of purple on the colour wheel is yellow. So I need to, I think, add a little bit of yellow there. So I'm going to use this. So this is lemon sherbet. Um, and add that. Go over the top. I don't need to add, the, like, colouring it in, but I'm just adding it. I'm going to let it come up into that little flower as well, just so it gives it even more variety. And the reason I'm cleaning my brush off in between is just so I, I help not to contaminate my little ink sink quite yet. But see how it's making these nice little mixes? And I might get a bit of a stronger application here. See how it, gray, it sort of is going this grey, weird colour. Um, it's just a really nice neutral. Now, see, I've got purple on there. I want to put my things back to bed clean. So I'm just making sure I'm cleaning that off before I put that away. So that's incredible ink in those as well. And the ink is sinking into my little areas that I just wanted for shading so that's become a bit dark so I'm just going to dab that off a bit so I just I'm going to come back in with pen I think I'll probably use my epic pen or incredible pen and that is a bit dense down there so I'm just going to do get my paper towel and just do that but I might just use this to add some no point wasting ink some little dabs Oh, she is quite a little party fairy so far. I quite like her. Uh, I might even make her legs candy cane. Might put some stripy tights on her. Uh, I really should wait for her to be dry, but that's not going to happen. So I've got one of my Epic pens. I haven't tested it yet to see if I've got ink in it because I know that on my desk I had one that I had to put ink in into. And my poor pens, gee, I put them through... Uh, quite a lot. Well, I have, I have to test everything. So, okay, I'm going to make myself let that dry for a second. I'm going to be sensible. And in the meantime, I don't think I've got a uh, acrylic block here, but I want to put, I thought I might just put some of my stamps here. So I've got like a little disco ball, but it's not a disco ball, it's a lace ball. Lace ball. And I don't have an acrylic stamp block here, so I'm just going to use that. <laughs> and I've got my petal point. So this will be different colours. I just want to show you something. If I use this one, it would have um, a different effect. If I use this one that has the colours that I've already been using, the sort of warm colours, um, it would really settle into the background. Whereas if I use these cool colours, it'll enliven the whole thing, but whatever I stamp with this will actually stand out. So yeah, it's just a decision that you can make, but I like having things where I can test it and look, okay, 
yes that would work or that wouldn't work or you know whatever does it even have to work so I'm not very good at stamping I have to admit I'm hoping that that looks good I don't know and this is my make make do stamp oh actually that worked enough for me that's good and I'm going to just uh, spritz that with some just water just so it will soften oh and spritz it with my oh 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 I don't want it to get on my little dolly though oh I like it now I need to do another one while well, that's just doing that oh I love stamping it reminds me of when I was a kid my sister and I would my mum had a stamp collection that she inherited from someone like it was ancient oh I loved all those stamps I have them to this day oh look so you see if something like that happens, you can either just leave it or you can do something about it, but don't you don't need to panic, it's not a big deal. So I didn't have a clean brush, so you know, potentially I just made it worse, but you know what? No, I didn't. There's very rarely a time when you actually ruin something. It just leads to the next opportunity. And excuse me, that little combination is yummy okay I have no idea how long I've been filming I apologize if it's 4,000 years uh, but I'm gonna put in some little happy eyes here oh oh she's funny she's not who I thought she was going to be I'll give her some little wing. Now it's not dry enough for me to be drawing. I'm very naughty. I did well just delaying myself this long, to be quite honest. Because I, you know, if I using a heat gun on a video is awful, so well, the sound of it is awful. So I'm just. I don't want to start outlining everything. Um, but I do want to just add a little bit of detail. I mean, this is just the way I create. I'm not saying this is what you have to do or anything like that. She needs a little ribbon on her sweetheart collar. A little bit of detail there. And because I can see the ink is still wet, I'm just avoiding it a bit. And these are her little tights. So I know that that ink is too wet to draw on. What could happen is the black ink I'm putting on could spread out. Um, but it hasn't quite yet. And so I'm just adding a little bit of detail here and there. And with her little tights, I think we should make them, I think I should, should they be stripey this way or stripey that way? I think I'm going to go stripey this way. And they're going to be to here like long socks and I think they're going to be French style stripey this way because that would make her legs look even longer and I think she looks like the type of fairy who would want that that's aware of that aware of her long legs and how to make them look even more amazing <laughs> So I could add, when that's dry, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway now. But I, I say when it's dry, I think to hope that you listen and become more patient than I am. So I'm just putting in that little bit of um, paint pen on there so it sort of matches up here. I'm just going to add a little bit of that paint pen there. Are we dry enough? Oh, yeah, it's all right. And... She needs wings because she is a Christmas spirit, a little Christmas fairy. Oh, I was just going to do um, ink ones, but should I do blue? I could bring that blue in. 
I'll do them in this first because this ink is waterproof. So this is one of my Epic pens. Um, I'll just give it a little simple wings like that. And the other wing would be hidden, so we just have to know that she's a fairy. And as you can see, it's not it's not perfect in any any possible description, but yeah, it's fun. And I'm just so I'm using this the same way I would use my ink sink. It's just because it was right there. This is a color called Fresh Air, and I'm adding that in to there. And I could add a bit of the blue, you know, because this her wings would be here. It's just it's covered in her hair. And I might just add a little bit of that blue up into here. And if I steal a bit of this red, that will neutralize this as well. See how it's sort of turning it a grayish color? It just, um, so rather than it be this bright thing, it's, I'm trying to integrate it a little. Just to soften it out. Um, Oh, she's really fun. So that is a little introduction to the incredible inks. I didn't even show you because I totally forgot that you can put them inside the incredible pens. So I have them. I don't think I've loaded this one with the ink though. No, I haven't yet. <laughs> but I have labelled it. Very important. Ready to put fresh air in that one. But I'm pretty sure I have it in here. But I I haven't used this for a little while. Oh, do I have that loaded yet? Eh. Anyway, you can put them in <laughs> the incredible pens. Do I have that one loaded? Any? Oh, yes. Okay, so that's got the um, converter that comes with it. And all, as with all fountain pens, uh, you know, if they've been sitting for a little bit, sometimes you've got to get that ink you know, shoot the ink up to the nib and get it flowing again. Uh, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm drawing with Berrylicious. And again, it's just, it's a different type of line that I would get if I drew with the fine tip. So you, you don't need all the different things. Of course you don't, but I do. <laughs> um, they're just creative tools for you to consider. I just want you to know everything. Look how beautiful. That was that bit of red in the fresh air, in the blue, because they're opposites on the colour wheel, well near enough. And uh, they just it just gets a nice little look. And I might add a little bit of hair detail with this, especially now that it's getting drier. And this is the finest line, more controllable. And you could put this in any of the incredible pens, the new ones or this one. And I could even add a little bit of uh, eye detail to her. So she's looking across at something. I might even give her a little tiny smirk. Anyway, I nearly finished and then I drew myself back in. So on the blog janedavenport.com I've got the labels that you can add to all of your different things to the pens to the um, ink brushes to the everything and there you can see all the inks there you can find them if you google uh, in different parts of the world um, Michael's in the US janedavenport.com but there are lots of fantastic stores that stock my things and thank you for joining me and I hope you like my little incredible fairy. Thanks for joining me.